Each selectman is a policy on the right to know procedure. <clears throat> I'll let council go first. Okay, the um, <clears throat> recent uh, municipal conference has uh, brought to light that there have been some recent rulings by the New Hampshire Supreme Court and by the Rockingham County Superior Court concerning the right to know law and um, electronic, especially electronic records. And um, as the right to know law proceeds with new technologies available, it does make sense, I believe, and uh, Fred and Christine, in my absence, have worked very diligently on this right to know request procedure. Uh, there are some municipalities that have a procedure online where people can register and then it seems to go into a black hole for a few days. This is a lot more direct. This procedure calls for um, a, a, a uniform equitable procedure where people direct their requests to one place. That would be the selectman's office and then the selectman's office can um, direct uh, to the appropriate department to respond to the inquiry. Uh, this sets forth the procedures that I believe are uh, in line with the right to know law itself. Uh, it also addresses a procedure that's been approved by the Rockingham County Superior Court, hasn't yet gone to the Supreme Court, uh, but in a very comprehensive opinion by um, one of the newer judges who uh, writes very well, um, requiring when you have electronic format records that those be generated not online, uh, not answered online, but answered through a thumb drive at, a, at a town cost that would be provided. And so this is uh, uh, for discussion. Um, I've read through this, and I believe you have some uh, upon my return, and I believe you have a, a few small edits that I have for this. Fred, you anything you want to? The Superior Court recently uh, had a case, the Rockingham County Superior Court, which is uh, oversees everything in the county, including us. Uh, there have been a number of instances where uh, people have come in and used electronic medium. Um, they would, and, and some of the towns now have enacted regulations that say, we will provide you at, at our cost a thumb drive to uh, download information. And the reason for that is simply because if you bring a thumb drive in and it's contaminated, you plug it into our system, guess who gets the contamination? We do. Uh, so we want to make sure the system is sanitized and continues to be sanitized instead of having some inadvertent error occur. So we wouldn't charge anything for that except what we have to pay. Uh, and we would download that information onto that drive and you walk away with it. Uh, it's much more effect, uh, effective and efficient and, and uh, people don't have to wait as long to find information. We can do that and we can do it very well. Any questions? Regina. So we would we would give them a thumb drive at our own cost? I don't at our cost. Okay, and that will just alleviate any... It can't be, there would be a sealed uh, thumb drive, it would be, you know, right. okay. the sealed package would be taken out and the information would be uh, placed on the thumb drive and, and given to them at, at that cost. Okay. So the cost for the thumb drive. They pay for the thumb they drive. Pay they the pay for the thumb drive. drive. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. A absolutely. They have the choice of bringing in one that's still in a, a new sealed container. Right. They right. don't have okay. to use ours. All right. No, I don't have any questions. Thank you. Negative suit. <laughs> um, I, th I think it's a good idea in this, this uh, age and time where somebody brings a, a thumb drive in that does have something that can affect our, our computer system. Uh, I think this is a great policy. It's not done for or against anybody, uh, no one group. It's it's just a policy on on uh, uh, requesting the right to know policy, yeah. and uh, it's already been in the courts. The lower courts have approved it, and uh, I think it's a, a good way to go. So. And we we put the charges in here. The court approved, which is fifty cents per page. That's what the police department charges now. So. We didn't change any of that. We took it right out of the court record. I, I, I agree 100 percent, and I agreed with the thumb drive because, as you know, when you start communicating electronically, is something yeah. got to be careful. Open to viruses and all that. You know, I just want to make sure that it, 
in, according to this policy, it's available to the people. People can get the records that they request yeah. uh, if it's appropriate, and they can pay the fifty cents. And the fifty cents is not exorbitant. I mean, it, it we're paying for the everything that's making the copy. So, right. You know, I agree one hundred percent too. As long as it's been checked and rechecked and rechecked, yeah. it, does, it does count. I don't, I don't know if this is the amended version or not, Mark. Gordon has a revised the so, <laughs> I just want to make sure I was signing the right piece of paper. Is this one here? He's looking for something very yeah, specific. Yeah, that's, that's there. Okay. The All right. Yeah. Yes. This okay. is the one. This is so, the one. Okay. Okay. Make sure it's boss. <clears throat> so if you vote this, I will pass that around and you can sign it. If so I need a like. motion. I make the motion. Second. Second. By Regina. All those in favor? Unanimous. All right. I'll start that okay. around. Okay. 